good morning everybody welcome back to my youtube channel this is um just me getting ready for a day out and i thought i would share some of it with you on my face so far i have put on the estee lauder the smoother universal perfecting primer base da, 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 base perfecting what is it the smoothing universal perfecting primer this is it i have a sample gone and on top of that i have used the Futurist Foundation in the colour Dawn. I got a 10 day sample. Thank you very much, Estee Lauder. I will try this out without a shadow of doubt. I will give this a fair, a fair try, as they say. Now, we are zoomed out. I have my foundation is on. I'm going to see what way this foundation runs. It is supposed to be very hydrating. Now, I have dry skin. So we'll see what way it works on my dry, 40 plus year old something skin. So we're starting off, I'm putting on a tiny bit of Catrice powder just around where the mask would go. I'm not going to go mad on powdering this guy because I don't think it needs it. It seems to set nicely into my skin too. It's not matte, but it's not real luminous either. I'm just tapping a tiny bit of powder, just enough to set the base and hopefully around where the mask will be going later on. I'm not doing my usual mask trick. I'm going to see how this plays ball on its tod without any help. Okay, on my cheeks, I am going to lash on just a, a small amount of makeup. I'm not going ape shit. I'm going to use my little Aldi palette, which the review should be up on my channel now. If you all want to go and have a look at that. It's just the bronzer going on now. A very light contour. Although my five cheeks, I could probably do with a serious contour, but it's not getting it. Not in the humor today. That is the blush, that is the, the bronzer applied. Now moving on to the blush, I'm, it's a beautiful pinky color. Tap off the excess. Blend it into the skin. Both cheeks. This may not look perfectly even, guys, but it's not because the makeup is the same on each side. It's just the lights hitting at a different angle on each side of my face as a result of, I'm not sitting in direct light. It's at an angle. Okay, now we're gonna just do under the chin. Forgot about under there. Under the right. Very light makeup. Okay, and finally on to the highlight. Won't need as much as normal because this foundation has got a nice glow to it. It's actually got a natural sort of glow to it that I like. And that's the foundation done. That's the face done. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to do a very quick look using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This is it here, nine colors. This is the front of it, hard plastic. I think the packaging they give is fabulous, guys. The packaging from Too Faced, it's, it's developed to suck you in, isn't it? No, in all fairness. I am starting with the color Heaven, which I'm using a fluffy purple brush by Real Techniques. Well, put my mirror, I'm going to have to look down in the mirror here, so. And I'm going to be placing this color everywhere. Start off light, start off as I mean to continue. Placing it everywhere on the lid up to the brow bone. I'm going to layer this up a little bit slowly. So guys, you get the general gist of this. See, this works with any palette. So any white eyeshadow you have in your 
box in your collection in your drawer wherever you keep your makeup slap a little bit of it on like so bonus tip for you guys well you probably already know this most of you if you have wrinkly eyelids which i do and you're putting your eyeshadow on you want to get it into the crevices so you're patting it down like that when you're patting it down and you're patting it down slowly but surely to get it into all of the little crevices it has this, i don't mean i don't like stuff sitting in my wrinkles as such but with eyeshadow if you don't get it into all the crevices you'll see two different colors your skin and the eyeshadow and it really does look bad i'm taking this uh urban decay brush that i got in the naked heat palette it's got two eyeshadow brushes one each side quite good i'm taking this one and i'm going into a mixture of two colors here this one which is called less is more less is more and cleavage so i'm going into those two colors mix them together tap it off and then i'm going in just here in the corner of the eye and I'm just slowly tapping the colour onto that, bringing it into the crease, windshield wiper motions and circles together, just to colour up the crease a little bit. Nothing too, it is daytime, so I am not going absolutely apeshit. So I do it again, cleavage, more is, less is more, tap, and you're on this side. And you're doing the very same thing, same process. Very gently, windshield wipers followed by um, circular motions to deliver the color into the crease, leaving the actual mobile lid clear of the darker shades, keeping the pale color there, the white. Right, and then we go back in again, do the other eye again, get a little bit more in there, bring it all the way in windshield wiper motions and circular motions together just whatever works for you you'll know when you're doing your own eyes that's what works for you what deposits color for you most evenly okay i hope you can all see that little tiny bit of definition not much it's not necessary to go mad use the other side of the brush to blend your edges Make sure the color is as evenly dispensed as you can manage. Nice. And then you just do that again. Right, then you go into a slightly darker color. So I'm actually going to go into Sexpert, which is here in the corner. I might, I'll just see what way that, to give the eye, uh, actually, you know what? Risky base, the middle one. It's, it, I find with these colors, because I'm on camera and it's, uh, they don't show up as well on camera. So I'm gonna go slightly darker, in, out of V, as this is called. So you're doing a straight line that way, up to meet the corner of your eyebrow. And you're bringing it in just a tiny bit. Then you're flicking your brush and you're blending it. I hope you can all see that. So we're going into Whiskey Biz again. We're doing the outside of this eye here, the, the outside, the outer V. And you're bringing it in ever so slightly. And you're using the other brush to blend. Again, we're still using the same color, Risky Business. We're trying to darken up this crease and out of V without going completely apeshit and turning me into a drag queen. But I do want something that you can actually see. Well, you guys can see. I'm going into the inner corner as well. With the darker color, it's almost like a halo eye, but not quite. And just keep blending and blending. Can you see that? 
Nice. Then you take your purple and your, your cream, your heaven cream shade, and you're going back down over your lid, your movable lid, and you're adding that tiny bit of light back in there again. Because you get some of your darker shades go, always go there, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes. And you take your blending brush and your blending side and you're gonna just blend all of this darker shade so it doesn't look like a kick in the teeth you know you want something natural it goes nicely then finally you take heaven again which is your highlighting shade and you're going to put it up here on your brow bone again in a corner very gently and that my friends is the eyeshadow done it's very natural it's not in your face now i am not wearing eyeliner guys what i've decided to do is take Risky Biz, which is the color that we put in the outer corner, in the outer V, if you will, and just run a little tiny bit of that along the upper lash line. You can see just ever so slightly, you don't need to go mad. If I was going somewhere, I would absolutely go ham diddly ham, but since I'm sitting in the house today, and I have no plans on going anywhere, I'm just going to pop a little bit of makeup on just to feel good and also to show you how I do it. friends now i am going to apply some mascara off camera and then i will come back to show you the finished look and i am back to show you the finished eyeshadow look i'm going to close my eyes down so you can have a good look at it that is using the Too faced naked matte natural matte palette now on my mascara here i don't know if it's actually showing up on the camera but i have the holy trinity <laughs> as i call it I have the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. It's white going on, goes under your mascara, goes on your dry, clean lashes, followed by the So Volume Million Lashes, L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes So Couture to give me some volume. And then I have the dupe for the Monsieur Big by Lancome, which is Get Big Lashes by Essence, purple with the pink writing. On my lips, I have got Velvet Teddy, Spice with a little bit of lip gloss from L'Oreal, liquid lip gloss from L'Oreal called Empower, I Empower, just in the middle. And that, my friends, is the finished look. So, I hope you enjoyed that and that it's helpful to you. You can see the light on my lids, on my mobile lids, and you can see the definition. Okay, my friends, that's it. And I wish you a very good day, and thank you very much for watching. And to those of you who are subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for being a part of my channel. I appreciate every single one of you that take the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I hope you have a very good rest of uh, Tuesday afternoon. So take care, everybody. God bless. And I will speak to you all in my next video.